Welcome to the new Hopscotch the Globe Travel Tips and Advice Studio. I am in love with it. This is what I've been working on. As you can see over there, there is an empty spot that still needs to be filled with something cool and travel-y, but that's gonna be up to you guys. What do you think I should put there? Tell me in the comment box below. In this video, I am going to be answering your questions that you've been asking me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So let's get started. Zedwalgy5, or Zwalgy5, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, on Instagram asked, I've been living in Toronto, but is there anywhere else in the world that I would want to live? And the answer is absolutely. I've lived in several countries for, for months at a time, like Paraguay, Ghana, India, Thailand, and if there was a place that I had to live for, for more than a year, let's say, I would definitely choose Thailand. It's absolutely stunning. You've got the beaches, you've got the ocean, you've got the jungle, you've got the countryside. It has a lot to offer in one spot. The food is incredible, the people are extremely friendly and welcoming, the culture is really interesting, there's, and there's so many festivals. It's just, there's just something about it when I've been there that I felt like, like it was home, um, that I could settle down there, I guess you could say and it's a place that I would raise kids if I choose to do so in the future and it's just it just seems like a perfect place to live and how about you guys if you could choose anywhere in the world to live for a year or more where would you choose let us know in the comment box below the next question comes from Kelsey Day and she asked how to balance college work and travel. So I'm no longer in college, but I was in college for four years and I was also working and traveling while doing a full-time course. How I balanced everything was I did a full-time course, so I was doing full-time hours, and in between my classes I would work um, about 20 hours a week at the college, uh, which was very awesome because I didn't really have to go far to get to work. And in the summer, I would travel. The money that I made while working in college, I would put the majority of that into a savings account that I would use for my travels in the summer. But the main source of income that I had for my travels was uh, due to a scholarship that I received. There are so many scholarships out there that people don't even know of. And it's not all about good grades, although that is going to help you get get these scholarships, but it's not all about that. It's about volunteer experience and it's about passion for your studies. At least that was what I needed to get the scholarship I received. It's called the Weston Garfield Scholarship National Scholarship. Um, I competed uh, against lots of other students around Canada and I got the scholarship. How I got the scholarship was I worked my butt off in my first year of college. Um, but it was also doing something I loved. I wasn't the best high school student. I mean, I excelled in drama, I excelled in art, because those are things that I'm really passionate about. But I didn't do too well in other subjects. So just, if, if that is also you, don't worry, don't think that you can't apply for scholarships, because you can. In the first year of college, I got to choose the courses I was interested in, because that's, that's, that's the best part about college. You get to choose what you want to take courses in, what interests you. The great thing about college is you get to choose the courses that you want to take. So because of that, I excelled in my first year of college and that helped me get the scholarship as well as volunteer experience and passion for what I wanted to study. So I had not entered into broadcasting. I was uh, doing a general arts and science at the time. So it's just like general courses that I'm interested in various subjects, uh, but I, I showed that the, the judges who were judging the scholarship competition, I showed them that I really want to take broadcasting and I really want to make films and I really want to travel. I want to combine all of these. So I told them about a project that I was interested in doing at the time, which was go to Peru and film a documentary, which I actually did. You can watch that here. So because they saw this passion in me, that really helped me get the scholarship. And the money that I had been saving for college, I actually got to use for my travels in the summer. So the scholarship paid for my school, and then that money that I had saved um, allowed me to travel to various places during the summer, which was incredible. And that's really what fueled my travel addiction. But you don't need to have a scholarship to save money while you're in college for travels. I mean, you just have to 
work and save that money and, and not spend it on things that are aren't as important to you. If travel is important to you, if you want to go and travel the world and that's that's your number one, then you will find a way of making money and putting it away and saving for those trips. And you don't have to have thousands of dollars. You can take trips around your own country. You can take trips to places that maybe don't cost as much as others, like Southeast Asia is a lot cheaper than traveling through Europe. On Instagram, 7 Bum asked, what was my most memorable train ride? My most memorable train ride was in India. I was traveling by myself at the time. Uh, and it was a 60 hour train ride from the south of India to the north with a few stops. It was a very long train ride, 60 hours is a long time, but I got to see a lot of India along the way. And the train system in India is incredible. I got to meet a lot of really cool people, a lot of incredible families that fed me and talked to me and asked me a million questions. And it was just, it was just a really great way to see the country. It also gave me a lot of time to think. You got 60 hours, you're gonna think a lot. And I literally went through my whole life, but what's important to me? And I had this moment where I I figured out exactly what I wanna do in life. And I, I knew that in that moment that I wanted to pursue acting. And, and I would do anything that I needed to to make that happen. So I had this incredible realization on that train ride and I've been pursuing it ever since. Kelsey Cathcart asked on Twitter if I will be doing a Toronto meetup. I would love to meet you guys. I think we would have a lot of fun together. And there's actually an event happening this month called Buffer Fest, and I will be going to that. I will be on the red carpet with other YouTubers. I will be attending many of the shows, and there's even a travel show, and you better bet that I will be there. And you can check out more of the information right here. If you have any questions for me, please leave it below, let me know, or you can tweet me, hashtag AskKristen, you can Instagram me, you can Facebook me, I'll just leave all the links over here and down below. Thanks for watching and happy travels!